Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's do another entry here, yet again based on one of your newer suggestions. Please keep them coming, I'll probably do about one, maybe two more after this, because the total that I've done is a good number of videos, including the Cryptids of the Week. I think it's over 10 now, so I'm going to give this series a rest and then start focusing on other stuff but please keep them coming and with regards to this suggestion it's fascinating in a sense that it is very very new when it comes to its sightings and it's also yet another creature that seems to be a mishmash of two animals in one and then lastly it has to do with something that I may have found a real life counterpart for in other words a misinterpretation that when you hear this information uh, you'll think to yourself maybe this is true at least when I saw this real life creature and compared it to the one I'm going to talk about here you'll see the very eerie similarities but let's go ahead and let's talk about this suggestion Suggestion. It's known, the colloquialism is known as the coon cat. So what is this coon cat? Well, it's a creature that was found very recently. And when I say recent, I just mean a couple of years. In fact, you're looking at around 2013, 2014 to be the latest. So very, very recent. It's, sound, it's found there in the state of Georgia, throughout various parts of Georgia. And the way it was encountered it was found within a couple of days or maybe a short time period of each other. But ever since then, there haven't really been any other sightings, but still it was enough to make a pretty good impact there within that location in Georgia. So as far as the characteristics, it's this. Uh, imagine a half raccoon and a half cat all mixed together. Difficult to tell though like which one is the main dominant animal. Like it's been described as having the face of a cat and then the body of a raccoon and then it's also been described as the opposite. The face of a raccoon and then the body of a cat. Hence in other words the name the coon cat. It also is related as far as that name the coon cat because there's another cat out there known as the Maine Coon. This is a, uh, an actual domesticated cat that is the largest cat within the United States. In fact, it can grow up to past three feet uh, long, essentially. Um, and with regards to this creature, this coon cat, imagine this, but even larger. In fact, the way it was described was it was around five feet or so. So definitely making it much larger than the largest known domesticated cat here in the US. But the other things that stand out with regards to it is it's been known to have these large black paws, at least based on the eyewitness reports, bushy brown tails, the classic white rings, associated with a raccoon and then um, anything else like as far as it being able to climb and jump up and move at very fast speeds, all reminiscent of a cat as well. In fact, one person that encountered it stated that it pretty much sprang up a tree very, very quickly when it was making its escape. You can kind of see some raccoons do it, but they don't move that quickly. Here in this case, it definitely mimics though more along the lines of a cat. But let's go ahead and let's go into details as far as those sightings. In fact, the very first one was December 19th, 2013. There, a young man, a teenager, unknown name, uh, no one knows who this person is. It was just somebody that happened to just report this. But they stated that it was in a car, a Dodge Caravan, driving along the highway. And then that's when they saw this coon cat along the side of the road. They tried to grab a camera to try to take a picture as quickly as possible. However, this coon cat ran away right at that time, ran up in fact one of those trees like I was mentioning earlier, and then that was too late. But the group of friends in the car or in that caravan came back the next day and they found in that same area some paw prints. And these paw prints to them look like something belonging to either a cat or or a raccoon, but larger than you would expect with one of those animals. That's what made it stand out too. So, in fact, this was their direct quote when it came to the description. It said, it sort of looked like both, sort of like a cat, the body, but the head was definitely not a cat's. It was a raccoon striped and had a broader than normal cat's face. So again, that's at least one uh, type of, of encounter that was there. Then, if you cut to a different encounter, a couple of days later, on December 21st, in this case, it was a young girl who saw it. She saw it nearby 
a home uh, near her area, she too saw this coon cat pretty much run up straight up a oak tree and then disappeared right into the forest. She's the one though that gave a more detailed description, the one I was mentioning earlier about the black paws and the bushy brown tail and then the white rings because she was able to get a better look at it. And unfortunately though, no physical evidence like in terms of a photograph anything like that that was captured afterward and then a couple of days after that cut to the next year 2014 and also there in georgia this time in a place called douglasville georgia there was yet another sighting another teenage boy in this case spotted it this time yet again in another yard and this one in the neighbors and then that's when they were able to describe the size of it they stated that it was a little bit past three feet which they guessed based Based on its look that it looked youngish like it wasn't a full adult yet so that's where they surmised that it could have been five feet long thereafter but that's pretty much at least that other sighting but there's been no other ones after that wherever this coon cat was there in Georgia um, then that's it it was pretty much discovered those three times and there hasn't been any more sightings afterward now as far as the real life animal that I was mentioning earlier that I think it might have been misinterpreted for this get this look at this right off the bat this looks like exactly like you would imagine a coon cat like when it comes to a mixture of a cat and a mixture of a raccoon doesn't the face look like a cat almost uh, doesn't the body look like a raccoon uh, definitely has that mic that that it, like if you were to take it like a melting pot and then have those two creatures come out into one that's what it will look like here well this is a real life creature it's known as the african civet it's found there in south africa throughout numerous parts of the rainforest so this creature is there the size of it though is not quite as large as five feet but it does range up to three feet which again matches everything that i mentioned earlier with one of the other sides sightings there of the coon cat in Georgia and my theory is this this creature might have been brought over who knows how but it might have been brought over here to the U.S. and then just happened to run amok just happened to escape and then not be found afterward and that's where this misinterpretations come because the other idea is that maybe this was just a uh, creature that was truly the breeding of a raccoon and a cat and that's what came out afterward that wouldn't explain though the larger size associated with this creature uh, or another theory is that its own individual cryptid who knows that could be the case as well as far as it being just its own unique cre uh, creature but when i saw the pictures of this this african civet uh it made me immediately think that this has got to be it this has to be something where someone brought this over maybe it was some rich person somebody that decided to own some kind of luxury animal and when they got this creature, uh, somehow it just happened to get out. And then that's where it's been ever since somewhere there in Georgia. But at least that's my theory. And at least if, when you hear the information and you see these photos, uh, you can kind of see how it eerily relates to this coon cat. But what do you guys think? That's pretty much all the info associated with this cryptid. Anyone there from the Georgia area, Douglasville, any other places nearby that happens to know more info associated with this creature? If so... Please post those comments. I know it's kind of new though, being 2013-2014, it hasn't had that much of a legacy yet. But if anybody has any more tales I might have missed, then please, uh, it'd be great to hear your comments there. Alright everybody, thanks again as always. Take care.